I know you see somehow the world's gonna change for me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about my voice. I am getting over a sickness today. Welcome you, to episode 41 of uh, the Archives of Eternity. Still in our, uh, our, our midlife phase. crisis, We're yeah. Midlife crisis, but this time we we have plans. Unspoken Cookie today. and Professor Zool, Cleric, and, and Khan will not be joining us today. Uh, Leopold, Marcus, Arcadia, and Ivanator will be joining us later. He's doing some stuff for his family first. <clears throat> but joining us is Connie Romave, played by the wonderful god of balance, Azul. Nightman finna be the ape man because I love it when a planet comes together. God okay. damn it. Uh, the Grim, played by Lemmy Lemonhead, the lime green lemon man. I'm doomed to die of liver failure at some point. Not from alcohol, I've stabbed my liver. My liver. Oh, I see. My uh, liver. Advin my Kari, liver. played by Tamaz Alpha. And greetings, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day. Can't wait for another drug-free hallucination. Let's go. I really hope you know that. I really hope you know that you make us look bad every time you do that. We didn't. He does not. He has a theme. It's beautiful. Let him cook. Let him cook. All right. No. Uh, let's get right into I announcements. Will roast him. As always, huge shout out to Alexander Nakarada, Vince Fept. Uh, tabletop audio and breaking copyright royalty free music for being the wonderful individuals they are for being artists and compiling artists who put music into creative commons that sound cool and awesome and fantastical uh, so that broke boys like us can you know use them for oh for and uh, also I have a special thank you thank you to Cam for putting up with my weirdest design decisions for what me make thumbnails. Oh, Canva. Okay. Oh, you, you, we, I just heard thank you to Can. I heard thank you to Can. Canva. No, Canva is what I yeah, said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just your your mic cut out like at the perfect time. It was hilarious. <clears throat> yes. We, thank you to Canva uh, for allowing us to make all these lovely things that you see on the screen here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways. Stop getting sensual. What? <laughs> What? I said stop what? getting sensual. That's weird. If you guys have not yet seen it, go check out episode 40, uh, Shadows Unveiled, over on YouTube. Right now. Go do it, if you haven't. Or, you know, wait till the end of the episode and be very confused. And then go check it out and be very unconfused. Just do it. Uh, Don't fucking worry about it. Also, we have finished the script for uh, Aedros Expanded Chapter 2, Episode 2, Burke Greystoff. So, Connie and I will be recording that after we're done with this shit. Yeah, probably when I'm not sick. Yeah. And when I'm not... <laughs> I don't know what they're, they're sick. I'm I'm just a beta male. Well, actually, and then I'm an alpha. I will be doing episode three because I didn't do it for C, uh, for chapter one. I'm doing episode three. Uh, Nima Jackal. Nima Jackalope. That's right. Nima Burke's teacher. And I need an adult. All right. I am an adult. Uh, and then. Uh, I feel like I had a couple other things to say. But I can't remember them. Right. Uh, we are very, very close to having 40 followers here on Twitch, which is the time at which I will dispense into the world the uh, lovely, lovely uh, voting thing where you can vote on... Uh, vote on what design we put on our first piece of merchandise, which will be released at 50 followers. Please, I need something. I need, we need money. You know what, you understand? There's rich capitalists. Elon Musk is taking all of our profits. Can't you see that? Elon! Okay. <laughs> it's entirely his fault. It's, it's not our fault is. at all. Viva la resistance! The socialist movement lives! <laughs> God damn it.
Uh, don't count me along bad. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no, honestly. No, fuck you, Elon. Give me uh, my, give me a cyber truck for free. Right for, now. Free. Right now. <laughs> for free, right now. For free, right now. Low polygon Halo One vehicle. Or, also, or I'll, or I'll hack your website and also, turn it into sex. On May seventeenth, we will be ha we will have been doing this for a whole year, guys. God. On the seventeenth of next month. You hear that? You've been hanging out with us for a whole year. You're if anyone's a loser in this scenario, it's you. So while we don't generally stream on Fridays, and well actually we don't generally stream on Fridays, so I'm not gonna be streaming that day, but we will be doing Wednesday as our uh, little uh, anniversary stream. I mean Wait, if you want to you, you telling me it's it not question. it won't become the anniversary on a Wednesday when we started on a Wednesday? No, it, well, I mean, technically it will be, but it's like, so if, if we, if we go about it, the Wednesday to Wednesday, it would be on the 15th, but May 17th is technically the day we posted it, so actually it's on a Monday. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Let's say we just, couldn't we just do that's the celebration good. on the Wednesday, the 15th? Yeah, no, that's what we're going to do. Oh, okay. From now on, we'll, uh, the 15th of May is our anniversary date. Well, the second or the third Wednesday of May. Third, and then, like day. next month, I would be with this group for about a year. Yeah. Mm. See, this master so, was uncommitted. He was not here. I'm kidding. I, I just found out this this whole thing was a, a shebang, and I just <laughs> I'm just like, hey, Wait, yeah, baby. hey, mind if I slide into your DMs real quick? <laughs> mind if no, I become a central character? <laughs> You might have just become part of the story. Yep. And you did. Don't mind if I just you're a take you're an integral part here. to this crew. Indeed. Uh, so um, so because we're gonna be celebrating it on the third Wednesday of next month, uh, I want to say now thank you all for supporting us throughout this year, and thank you players for being who you are and for. You know, putting up with my shenaniganery and the, the should, sadness and soul-tearing stories that I have put you through. You shouldn't thank me for anything. I have made more racially charged jokes than anyone on this platform. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That is true. I'm not going to yeah. lie. That is kind of true. Anyone, if anyone in this group is going to get canceled, it's going to be me. <laughs> it's going to be me. It's going to be me. He's making me sweat on the Twitter bird site. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Get us to 100 <laughs> subscribers, oh. and I will drop the N-word live. No, 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 no. I am not. I am oh, not I getting banned for that. The exact moment I said that, I unplugged my headset, so... <laughs> I am not getting banned for that shit. No, I, oh, you don't have to get banned for shit. I, I will right. get banned. Anyways. <laughs> okay, okay. let's see it, guys. As... Get us to 200 and I will <laughs> and I will join <laughs> and I will join the conservative party. Um also oh. if we reach 100 followers, <laughs> Ivanator will drop the Hat Works in Mysterious Ways parody of I Want It That Way. That's true. On top of that, we have a donation station if you look underneath the stream uh and underneath all of our youtube videos in our descriptions we have a place where you can donate to us uh it's kind of weird i figured out how to how to you know take in donations now so we can we can do that so that's fun uh but yeah so you know we can we can take in donations and stuff so you know that's please fun. please give us your money give us Give us your money. Give us your money so we can give them our money. So, uh, you know, all donations go directly back into the channel to pay for uh, better equipment, better sound treating, and possibly not a lawnmower out my window. Which I will be closing here in a second. So that you don't hear the lawnmower in the recording and shit. There we go. No, 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 really. <laughs> We're just going to get something on Twitter that says release the lawnmower cut. <laughs> <laughs> release the lawnmower cut. Just the Snyder cut. Anyways, so you know, there's there's that. Uh, so please think about donating. And with that, I think that brings us to the end of our very long announcement segment because we got off track. Uh, 
so let's jump right into today's episode of the archives of eternity where we left off our intrepid adventurers had finally made made it to the city of Sultros, the city of dark damnation as it is known throughout the country of Ibnon. or as it or as it is also known by us the country with the most inconsistent leadership yes um as they as the advent our adventurers the nightmen went through the city they discovered a few things at the front gate but as they made it to a general store making the store clerk rethink his life and stuff uh they were invited to the castle in the center of the city by the captain of the guard invite is a strong word it is it was strongly encouraged it was more of encouraged attendance yes it's more it's more like we had a gun to our head either show up or get done up so <clears throat> they uh so they they went to the castle and while looking through the uh the king as he is called Ramiel Blackstone is his name uh as they were looking through the king's great hall of treasures they stole a banjo known as the battle banjo uh and gazed upon relics of powers they don't even know trust oh i trust me i'm well aware of the pop what i don't know which is a lot so they had a short dinner uh and they spoke with ramiel for very uh some of you being made very uncomfortable like he's bisexual in the sense no, he's bisexual in the sense that you want to go by. That wasn't joking. a good joke, but I expected someone to laugh at it. Nope. Really? Nothing? <laughs> Fuck all of you. <clears throat> the fans will be on my side. Bye, so... bye, bye. So, yeah. You know. So, they, they had a dinner, dinner conversation, and... They, uh, one sec. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, and then they, uh, Grim confronted Ramiel. Let's just put it that way. Yes. After having a very heated conversation, Ramiel saying he straight up wanted to eliminate the entirety of the Vordun legacy. Uh, I'm going to erase your entire bloodline. <laughs> <clears throat> they went through the uh, the whole conversation, and Grim thought he was gonna die. I mean, I mean, it's not. You didn't make it not obvious that I wasn't. Yeah, and that was the point. Well, still, dick move. Sure. Uh, so he was sent to a prison cell in an, uh, in an arena where he saw a large black mass consuming an adventurer. I honestly thought you were going to say, you saw a large black man. No. Mass. <laughs> but imagine just, if his name was Requies. He picked up just, that guy and put a bed sheet over his head. It's just, uh, it's just Terry Crews just eating somebody whole. I'm right. Terry Crews. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Goodbye. Anyways. <laughs> Old Spice. <laughs> Anyways, power. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Connie was able to communicate with Grim for a bit, and Advin, after that, decided to leave the castle. With the battle banjo to go give it to Rachel, or Rachel, their yachtish companion. As he left the castle, he made it down the streets, made it to Rachel, gave her the battle banjo. They rocked out for a bit, and then moved their way to go find Bririn the Orange. 
as we move through the city. Advin, what is on your mind? Advin himself is more or less is like happy that he at least was able to help Rashio get the banjo back and then he right now is more focused on trying to find, you know, the wizard. Right. In so the wizard. The wizard. You're a wizard fairy. Yeah, so he's right now with Rashio probably she's probably leading him to the wizard and yeah, she's yeah. she's got the banjo slung over one shoulder, just as she's walking through the streets and whatnot. Uh, and you guys are passing by beggars. Uh, you see a few drug deals going down here and there for some weird blue powder that you don't recognize. It's just out uh, in the middle of the open. Hey, hey, uh, I'd like to buy drugs. No, literally, that is exactly how it is. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, fine partaker. I would love your <clears throat> nose candy. So, as you're Give walking that through blue the shit. streets, you understand why this place is called the Dark Damnation. Because as you walk through, you understand that these people have no hope. They are literally broken. And Ramiel's a dick of a leader. What led to this issue? Is it the current king? Or is this always a prominent issue? This was an issue after the pirate king came by. My father nearly eliminated it. But with the emergence of the new king, it became very prevalent again. Well, pirates are going to be quite an issue. What could be useful? I don't know. Hmm. Usually pirates are useful so long as you pay them off. Yeah, until they find a greater payout. So anyways, what's the wizard doing in these pockets? Honestly, I don't know. Okay. He's been here since before my dad came by, so it's, you know. You know, there was an opportunity for us to make a Wizard of Oz joke, and we just didn't. And I'm. I know. I, I was. I was kind of ready for that, and I didn't do it. I'm disappointed in us as a community, and I'm disappointed in you, the viewer, for not realizing it and not telling us. Shame yeah. on you. <laughs> Shame on you, viewers. No, no. Unsubscribe right don't, now. Don't. No. No. Do not. You should unsubscribe now. No, please don't. I, I, I love Lightning and thunder in the background. Low tier Lemmy. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, as you walk through the street, moving your way uh, towards Breer and the Orange's abode, you witness these sights and these very awful smells. Uh, why don't you make a perception check for me, real quick? That kind of smelly smell. That smells. I got a 10 plus 5, 15. Okay, 15. Mm -hmm. As you look into one of the alleyways, you see a person eating a corpse. Well, welcome to New York. Bruh. No, no, Florida. My bad. The person yeah, that's true. consuming this other entity uh, seems to be very young. I mean, to be drab. Fair, does have like a reputation. People eating faces. And you see, Rachel proceed to walk towards the scene. Advin will follow. As you reach where the child is, Rachel just walks into him and disappears. <laughs> Evan's still gonna follow. <laughs> As you, you get did. closer and closer, the child just looks up at you with a piece of flesh hanging from his mouth. As you oh, walk through him, 
and find yourself in a very comfortable foyer. <laughs> So, quite an impressive illusion. Almost really like Link. <laughs> so, the blood is so wet. <laughs> Almost really lifelike. I recorded that straight off the streets. That poor child was starving. Uh, as you look through the foyer, you see these two large double stairs leading up to a uh, a larger platform as a grizzled old human uh, proceeds to walk down the steps, his white hair reaching down, his form kind of hunched over as he's walking down the stairs. Hey, hey welcome, Leopold. Hey, Leopold, Marcus Arcadia, let's go. Leopold, uh, check, uh, check, uh, check the drawing board. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, so, <laughs> old, so I'm looking at the old, old this old wizard. Yep. <laughs> As you're looking at this what? old wizard, you kind of have this feeling of immense intelligence and wisdom. I have lived quite a long time, but I have not seen a Dracone stalker in all my years. Yes. It well, is I... quite an intriguing subject, to be sure. And you, girl, you are the king. Hey, you are the former king's daughter, are you not? I am. Lovely, welcome in, welcome in. Come, come upstairs, have a spot of tea with me. We have things we must discuss. Of if course. you are doing... The gangster shit's about to go down. <laughs> As you follow the entity who you assume is Breer in the Orange up the stairs, uh, Rajiel stops you. What's going on? Something's off. What do you mean by that? He looks at his computer, he has Reddit gold. I knew it! <laughs> Bruh. He's a Redditor! Um, Get him! As you... He's the imposter. As you... Look up. You see that the figure is missing his left hand. And blood is... Well, less blood... More, a dark, decayed mass is slowly dripping from his left Foul hand. Sounds like I Yeah. You I knew you were going for something. You had a great nose, young Rachiel. As he turns around, takes off his hood... And you see his whole left side is kind of schlupping off his body. And the decay is slowly spreading to his right side. Can I possibly do an arcana check to see if this is some type of curse? Go ahead. Roll that arcana, my good sir. Not a fan of that sound effect. 23. Schlup? Yes. <laughs> nope. I got a 23 on my Arcana. Lovely. Oh, shit. As you're looking at him, this is no curse. This was done purposefully. Did it to myself when my he mom said she wouldn't let me have the Xbox. is trying to reach into the, into the realm of lichdom. Ah. Uh, uh, no. Of witchdom. My favorite <clears throat> subcategory of Dangerous magic you're playing with, good sir. Yes, it's quite painful if you can't tell. Literally, my entire left side is decaying off my body. As he holds up his stump, and you see the forearm being revealed as just these two bones. But you see that his hand wasn't cut off. It looks like it was broken somewhere beneath the wrist. Oi. As you see, the skin has basically been tearing off 
uh, down to the elbow about now. Please tell me he still has his hand on him. Why is someone of your importance trying to do something so dangerous as lich them? You see, as a wizard, I can expand my life to rather unnecessarily long degrees. But even still, I have been unable to reach a point where my life will be semi-permanent. Trust me, you don't want that permanence. <sighs> oh, I do. For one reason and one reason alone. So I can see my father once more. I'm getting to Lich Dom. God, she's hot. <laughs> I assume I you don't know my name. I See? am Bririn Lytharian. <laughs> Big audible metagaming gasp. Big right. audible <laughs> metagaming gasp. Uh, yep. I'm I... not knowing gasp because I have no Yeah. Name. I've been once to me. I'm going to roll a history roll a check. Roll a history check. I oh, no shit. Who. I uh, got a 21. 21. You would know exactly who Breer and Lytharian is. He is the son of Antor Lytharian, ruler of the Lytharian continent for well over 2,000 years, who left <laughs> it who left it to his son, Breeran, after the rumblings of Dravin awaking soon became no, necessary. Uh, so Antor left uh, his his kingdom basically in chaos for a while as Bririn rose to take his father's place and Antor left to the Isle of Desh mm. to become the Lich King of the Isle of Dash. Oh. So you're trying to get into the Kingdom of Dash, aren't you? Yes. I... Dash, aren't you, Mr. Craig? I have lived well over 680 years, but <laughs> I am reaching the end of where my magic alone can keep me alive. So you see, I will be uh, entering the same realm as my father. I suppose we got lucky, our generation. At least mine. It's weird how the generations, the new generation of magic casters, they don't even know what's up and down. If only I hadn't been defeated by the Demon Lord, perhaps I would have had a greater amount of mana <laughs> to keep myself around. I'm still molding about fucking Arthas, this fucking that asshole. Uh -oh. Anyway, I will not harm you. I am just trying to enter the realm of the undead. Uh, follow me upstairs. I'm what I'm doing, what all wizards do, I'm trying to become a lich. Is that so wrong, officer? <laughs> she said she was 360. <laughs> how was I supposed to know she was 36? How was I, how was I supposed to know she was talking about her recent head transplant? <coughs> she said she was 12,000! <laughs> she said she was, she said she was 18 months. What? What? Anyway, what? as what? we continue... Uh, as you follow, I made that you, joke up yesterday. I follow Bririn Lytharian. Sorry. As you follow Bririn Lytharian up the stairs, we're going to return to the castle. God damn it! Those of you who were listening in on the door, or 
viewing and listening in the case of Connie. You heard the sudden stop of the conversation. Short drop and a sudden stop. Sorry. And from behind the door, you just hear, I guess the truth. Uh, bleh. I guess the <laughs> truth does hurt. Just li line. Well, just the accent, you know. As you hear footsteps approaching the door, and Ramiel opens it. Leopold, you wish to speak to me, correct? Yes. Come, enter. Can I use... Can I make, like, a perception check to make sure there's nobody actually listening in on us? Uh, roll a perception. It's just my corpse just sitting on the fucking floor. <laughs> What'd you roll? The flying... Sorry, it keeps backing me out when I try to click on the right one. You're all good, fam. Happens to the best of us. Uh, 18. 18. Um, the cleric my has kind of just... Well, actually, you know... Uh, no one to seems to be... Check on my drone. Yeah, no one seems to be listening. It's still in the corner. Yeah, it is still in the corner. Roll a stealth check for it. Um... <clears throat> And then the what were the it was owl stats? Hold on. Yeah. Owl stats. Bend. Um. It had a. What was it? Plus three to stealth. All right. Uh, thirteen. You rolled an eighteen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you can see it. It's up in the corner. As you clock the drone, uh, Ramiel just is walking back into the room and pay it no mind. I don't. I prefer if we spoke somewhere where our conversation is not gleaned. In that and case, with that, I will um just move the drone out because I was going to send it to Advan anyways. Okay. So I send it out in search of Advan. Okay. As you send it out the window... Uh, huh. Intriguing question. Would you have a certain detector on the end of it? Um, actually, yeah. Something that can pick up certain magical signatures. I don't know if I would have really developed that yet. Okay. I don't have enough sense of magic yet. Okay. In that case, make a survival check for the drone. Okay. I think that's just a flat roll then. I don't think it has any anything for that, so. Nat 20. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, Advin uh, apparently left some breadcrumbs for you. Quite literally. Actual bread. Actual breadcrumbs. Uh, hey, as hey, you hey. What you gotta keep? You gotta keep your kill uh, your cholesterol up, guys. Yeah. It's important. High cholesterol. That's man. the one time I've ever heard somebody say you need to get your cholesterol up. <laughs> well, we're stalkers, man. We don't get the same nutrients as everybody else. I gotta eat more bread. And you gotta eat more. Hey guys, this is a successful stalker living. Eat more bread. Eat more sugar. Eat more eggs. Uh, with a little bit of souls as garnish. <laughs> In fact, eat as many eggs as you can. As many as the store will allow you to take home. All right, let's, 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 re let's refocus. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the drone Perfect. goes to follow the breadcrumbs. And it's, I think it would still, well, actually no, because it would be the, uh, wait, no, yeah, I think that was just an innate thing. So yeah, um, yeah. it'll still be in the form of like a swallow as it okay. just kind of flies through. Okay. Um, Roll, okay. Roll a Constitution saving throw for it. It just has to beat a ten. Oh, great. Um, I think it had a plus to that, didn't it? No, yeah, it's not. One. Um, that would be. Wait, funny. so con it, it's con is oh great, that's great. Um, 
Oh, that's perfect because I got an 11, but it has a minus one. So that's so. exactly 10. It's it will exactly take 10. no damage as it forces its way out of the barrier. Okay, it just kind of wriggles out. <laughs> uh, but you will notice that your feed is a bit iffy. Hmm. It kind of uh, fizzles in and out sometimes. I will um, instead just enter commands into it um, to just find him and relay a recorded message and then just uh, I'll like quickly go over and record the message, upload it, and then just shut it off and then okay. I, will, I will let it autopilot. Okay. All right. Leopold, as you are left alone, you see Ramiel snap his fingers and a shadow slowly crawls over the door and you notice that the room gets extremely quiet just hushes everything around you what do you do I'm going to cut to the chase. My purpose here is not quite aligned with that of my compatriots. I see. And what are your certain... What is your certain quest? I begin taking off the glove, covering my hand. Uh, so you take off the, uh, your, 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 your glove, uh, which hand? And I hold it out for him to see, and I said, Well, I guess you could say I made a deal with the devil. Okay, so your left hand. Okay. This is my beef in hand. <laughs> As you outstretch your hand, the, you see a purple line across your hand. To signify the pact you have made with the demon lord, the harness around your hand still uh, still gripping tight, unable to be removed. You see Ramiel look at it and just smile. You're here for the gauntlet. Correct. I will I have freely made give it to you if you stop meddling in my affairs. Define meddling. Stop spreading your words of freedom. And while you're at it, why don't you people... capture for me, young Rachiel? Okay, this is gonna throw a wrench in the plan. You see, her sister has been so missing her. And I'm sure her father would love to see her as well. If it were just the first condition, I would take it without question. I'd be fine with the first condition more. If you wish to take Rajiel, that's okay. Just know that her father and sister will be heartbroken. This is some bullshit if I've ever heard it. <clears throat> But as long as you I'm... cease your words of freedom, I will give you the gauntlet. You can take it Whatever right now if you wish. Whatever is necessary for the accomplishment of my goal. Man, what a good soldier great. you are. I have ceased to be a soldier. I see. 
Now I am but an instrument. Hey, uh, guys. Of death. The import might be a problem. You may take the gauntlet. Have fun. Ramiel simply leans back in his chair, smiling. I slip the glove back on and retrieve the gauntlet. Okay. I'm gonna hide it in my bag of holding. So, uh, you would have to go out the door and down the stairs, uh, in order to retrieve it. Okay. Okay. So as you exit, Can I make a stealth? Oh, absolutely. Ooh. Absolutely. Wish to evade detection. Well, if you wish That's to... That's a nat 20. 20. Yeah. Yeah, right. Right. Well, I was going to say, uh, Ramiel says, uh, if you wish to evade detection and casts uh, Pass Without a Trace on you, but okay. I'll take it. That's 38. Yeah, he casts Paths Without a Trace on He's you sneaky. and you get 38. And you feel like the shadows push you even further into them as they cling to you and slowly climb up your form. All right. <clears throat> so, as your drone goes, uh, Connie, as your drone goes through the city, passes by buildings and through streets and stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you are following the breadcrumbs and then you notice that they reach an alleyway and as it as the drone turns sorry about that i had to dip out for a second you're all good as the drone turns towards the alleyway you see they stop at a boy consuming someone. Well, I guess you put oh. it on autopilot, huh? Yep. So it's, it's just gonna keep going. It doesn't. It doesn't going. phase it. it. Just keeps going. And because I, I would imagine it wouldn't. If it's an illusion, it would not register as something there. It would still show it visibly, but it wouldn't register as anything in its path. Yeah, the drone itself would not register as it being anything in its path. So it just flies on through. Um, all right, so since you're back, Leopold, I might as well go for you again. So, <clears throat> as the drone enters the illusion. Okay. Uh, as you walk out, the shadows of the, of the darkness around you climbing up your form, making you seem almost more invisible than a natural 20 would even give you. Um, Damn. This man's got plot armor. As you're, uh, as you're going towards the door, you just phase right through it. Damn, okay. And as you phase through the door, you feel yourself drawn to the shadows beside it. To the shadows down the stairs. And into the trophy room. As you move towards the gauntlet that you have so sought for these past uh, for these past two months, which hand do you grab it with first, Leopold? My left. Okay. Do you still have the glove on? I put it back on. Yes. Okay. As you reach for the gauntlet with your left hand and grab it. This thing, uh, this gauntlet is about the size of your torso. Damn, okay. This is a massive gauntlet. Jeez, bro, trying to get the infinity gauntlet? God damn. As you grab it with your left hand, you feel the leather, or is it a leather glove, or what type of uh, material is it? I thought you said it was like a white cloth glove. That's right. So as the cloth of the glove, you feel it get pulled taut. 
And Ooh. as you look at your hand, it's almost like the slit in your hand is sucking in the cloth of the glove. Ooh. Do you take off the glove? No, I'm going to use my gloved hand to attempt to lift it and put it in my bag of holding. Okay. As you grab the bottom of the gauntlet to try and lift the gauntlet, you take eight points of crushing damage, essentially, on your hand. How much? Eight points. As the cloth glove rips and tears, but you f still feel it crushing your hand. As the cloth glove is consumed into the slit on your hand. Oh, shit. And as you feel it get essentially absorbed into the slit in your hand, you feel your hand opening wider and wider and you see it devour begin to devour the gauntlet as you see gnashing teeth and two eyes appear on your wrist I, i'm not okay with this i'm not okay with this homie as it begins to consume the gauntlet of guthrag after the gauntlet is fully gone, the eyes look directly at you, and you notice the rows of teeth slowly coming back together, and then slowly closing as the mimic that was left on your hand slowly fades. Oh, that was a mimic? What the fuck? And now you simply have a scar on your hand. Okay. You fucked up, fucked up DM, you know what? That was weird else. Else. You are messed up in the head. Uh, so I'll just go back up the normal stairway and rejoin the group. Okay. You rejoin the group? Except me, I'm not there. <clears throat> Advent. Yes. You're having a lovely tea time with this demi lich of a mage. <laughs> this lich of a man. In doing so, I'm actually in conversation. Yeah. I just want to show him my glasses and ask him where I can improve. Hmm. Well, I mean, you can always improve uh, on the actual sigils itself. You have them a little too, uh, I guess, janky. Your, your you you, you see a mage hand appear where his left hand would be as he grabs the glasses and just kind of is inspecting them with both his spectral hand and his normal hand. Just kind of... Uh, oh, you see right there? Um, You, you gotta kind of just... Well, you see, it's kind of hard to make precise runes oh, obviously, when you're I traveling on, on carriage back. Uh, obviously, I, I understand. I am the wizard of enchantment after all, so it's hey, totally hey, listen. understandable. <laughs> listen, I'm not making any remarks about your skill, but you kind of fucking suck. <laughs> I'm, I, I have spent literally six, seven hundred years... That's doing enchantment, so it's, you know, I, I have been studying enchantment since I was a small child. I studied a different art of magic for 600 years, so I get it. And I was study I was busy studying your mom. Exactly, so it, it, it's just kind of, you know, the... <laughs> exactly. It, it's just kind of a simple matter of uh, going uh, through and, and, and figuring it out as you go. Uh as I am the Wizard of Enchantment and have been since my nation fell. Uh, and have been since, you know, <sighs> since I got fucking good at okay. this. Okay, please stop. Alright, uh, so, you know, I just, I, I kind of know these things. I, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I just, just trying to help. 
I guess I am. Oh, I appreciate it. I got, I literally just was inspired off of one detail from a certain wizard, a certain dragon, who made them, oh. or acquired them. I so see. I thought I'd try to replicate. Which dragon was it? Do you know? The Scaled Scholar. Oh, I see. So, if I remember correctly, the Scaled Scholar's name is Ferrandir. Well, that's correct. His name is Furry. I see. Well, I mean, good chap, good lad. Uh, learned from me a couple of times. I had to give him a few pointers here and there. Uh, but I never knew he enchanted something like this. I don't know if he enchanted it himself or acquired it somewhere. Uh, All I know, with the group I'm with and with my age, I kind of like that. I see. Well, uh... I mean, I, I've never seen anything like this before. Well, except for once, actually. There was this small gnomish individual, very crazy hair, kind of blinked out of sync almost. I think his name was, uh... Marbin? No, no, it was, uh... It was Marvin, that was it. Um, ah. He had never. these, uh... These glasses or goggles that would flip through uh, certain lenses which did different things and uh, allowed him to identify things much like your glasses do. Well, I suppose I'll pay him a visit sometime. Oh, absolutely. Go ahead. Uh, he probably has many pairs of them and would probably be very willing to sell them as he is, you know, very entrepreneurial. Um, but that was actually before I came here. That was maybe... A hundred and thirty hmm. years ago. I was still in this. I was still. He says he catches himself. I was still in it. I was still in. Uh, you would now the Imperium deserts. Ah, I uh, still call times. it. I, I I still call it the deserts of the Elbrus myself. I I mean I totally get you. Have to I call understand. It, I call it the deserts of Mistar. Oh, because of your heritage, of course. <clears throat> it was quite a tragedy when I had to send the manifestors towards Dravine. I was young oh, and God idiotic. I apologize. My bad. Probably shouldn't have had them kill him. Probably should have instead instilled magical protection around the areas that were being affected by things, but Dad left. I was stupid. You know how it is. What's done is done. <laughs> Something Indeed. that far, though, although hurtful as it is to my culture, I myself have let it go. And most of the Mistarns that do hold grudges are dead. Fair. I was thinking you were gonna have, like. <laughs> what? Now I know that sounds bad. Um. Anyways, uh, so is this all you came here to ask me about? Not that. Mainly, I'm looking for advice to deal with the certain wizard over there. He's been a plague for my home country for many millennia, for many centuries now. So Almost you mean... Cobain. The Wizard of Betrayal, the Burned Scar, the... The Megalomaniac, let's just keep it simple. Well, he has a lot more titles. Some of them I'm not calling him by those titles. I'm not giving him, I'm not gonna give him any honorifics. He's a narcissist and a megalomaniac, and that's all I'll call him. And a psychopath. Don't forget psychopath. A pyromaniac, yeah. Yeah, it's pyro more acid, but yes. Yes. Any. Any hooser. Um. So you plan on killing him? Is that what I'm getting at? Is that what I'm hearing? Kill him, stop him, just remove him out of the picture in that continent is the more preferred term. I don't as, care what happens to him. As you say that, you see Briren's eyes kind of squint. Something just entered my castle. Give me a second. As he snaps his fingers and disappears. 
and kind of. Better have another one of those things. You, you, after a couple seconds, he reappears with. Uh, what was it shaped like again, Connie? It was a swallow. It was a swallow. He returns with a swallow, or at least what looks to be a swallow. But it's a no weirdly it's stiff Connie's and like uncanny looking swallow. Would Avin what know it's Connie's drone? Is this? Probably, yeah. You've seen it plenty of times. What the fuck is this? <laughs> that's one of our, that's my artificer's drill. He probably is looking for me. And it, uh, it, it, there's like a blink and the eyes glow and it um, kind of scans up and down uh, with like a, a kind of extending beam that kind of goes up and down Advin's body and uh, it just kind of squeaks out. I have a message. I'll speak. You have one new message. Um, and then it will uh, it'll kind of flutter out of the guy's hands and it will go and land on his shoulder and extend uh, similarly to what was on Grimm's wrist, a sort of, uh, it holds out what looks to be like a small bead and it uh, just kind of floats up and puts into his ear and begins relaying the plan. Which is... How something am I gonna you don't need to know about. You don't need to know about it. Well, How am I, I gonna mean... get a boat? A boat? <laughs> you don't need to know about it. Don't worry about it, you'll... You'll figure out what we're doing. Just shut, shut up and follow along, what? sweetheart. <laughs> what the f- What? Oh, that just is so shut. satisfying. I've wanted to do that for so long. Just <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> just the you don't well, do it. You're about to get brother. Ocean's Eleven. God. Exactly. You're about to get Ocean Sixty Nine, brother. Okay. Not she am. I'm gonna need your help with this. I don't even know what the docks are. Well, we're a landlocked city. There isn't oh, even any yeah. lakes nearby. Well, either order, we need to get a boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat! Okay? I, how I far, have... How far is Desh from here? I, I have a boat. <laughs> or the, how far is the shoreline from here? Uh, the shoreline is about a week's travel, even in the truck. Okay, okay. Hmm. Well, either order, I need... Anyways, do you think there's a way you can help us sneak a certain vehicle in s- Well, I, I, I have a boat. Briren raises his, his good hand. Well, we may need that boat to get to Desh. And why is that? Mm -hmm. done yet. <laughs> I mean, there are plenty of extremely uh, good captains and whatnot on the, on the shoreline that can easily get you to Desh. Typically, with the, what's being requested, I'm trying to keep it out of governmental affairs. Oh, they're not governmental at all. Or most of them are pirates or uh, or just individual uh, sailors. Good to know, good to know. So let's ignore the boat for now, and let's talk about getting a certain vehicle inside the town. Well, well, what does this vehicle look like? Um, I'm sure you've... I don't know how often you scry outside, but it's just, out, just outside the town, there's this... Oh, you mean that giant rumbling thing with six wheels on it that moves yes. on its own? We need to get that to the castle. We need to get that to the castle. You need to get it to the castle? Yes. I mean, I can see what I can do. I, I mean, I... I can, well, I mean, uh, it should probably have already made the way around the city by now. Well, I don't know we need it to the castle. Rearin claps his hands together, and you... You disappear from the sitting room and find yourselves in a large, dark place. You can see just fine, but the floor, walls, and ceiling are all black without any sources of light to, to speak of. But you can see each other just fine. And as you're looking around, you can also see vehicles of various shapes and sizes. Uh, you see a large galleon. Bro has a GTA void garage. What the <laughs> fuck? No, it's just the bat cave. The citrus cave. Uh, and as you look at the uh, the giant galleon, uh, you see 
uh, you, you just see the red eye inscribed on the side of it. Wow. Mighty fine vessel. Just oh, it yes. Uh, it was... Uh, it was actually uh, the Pirate King's boat. A family heirloom. A, uh, yes. a uh, gift from the king. Uh, well, the previous king. Who, you know, uh, gave it to me when I helped him take the city. From the Pirate King. So but anyways. Nip. The previous king. He was a dear friend. <laughs> uh Neptune's crown. I sold it to a guy in Chill City, and I. Uh... Anyways, uh, what 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 sort of things are you looking for? Uh... Well, well, for one, that boat. If oh, I, kinda... I will not be able to get that to the shoreline anytime soon. <laughs> My magic's I'm... a bit out of whack thanks to the fact that you know holds up his left hand or his left arm. Yeah, that understandable. Is... Understandable. Mainly, can you help us sneak that big rumbling machine inside and get us get it to the castle? Oh, absolutely. Claps his hands again, and you just see the uh, the truck just drive into the uh, into this this space. Like that. And yeah. Now, is this some fine spatial magic? Well, I mean, I enchanted a lot of things around the city, you know, just kind of fiddling. You had a lot of, you had a lot of time. I understand. I have a lot of time. Well, not I'm... so much now, but kind of, kind of sits on the ground, kind of pushing <laughs> at the ground. I know I don't no, have a you... lot of time now. I'm about to die soon. I know that. <laughs> so it's just like I'm not... I spend a lot of time at Hobby Lobby. They know my name now. <laughs> All right. It's obviously uh, becoming no, a problem. It's, it's no, no, no offense, of course. It's just uh, I like I must I state the facts openly. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. Well, I mean, I can only uh, help you a little bit now because I only got Understood. one more, uh, one more real use of that kind of thing. Anyways, we just need that car to the castle, and we need to get it to my friends. Like, how soon? Castle. Probably as soon as we can. Alright, I don't know what you're planning, but... Sure, are you gonna hop in, or... or what? Oh, he's wanting them to have to drive! <laughs> he gets in the driver's side! Oh god. <laughs> I, this might have been a bad idea. Please, <laughs> as Rashiel just kind of looks at Briren, please pray to all the gods on my behalf. <laughs> As she sighs and gets into the, the uh, you just gets into the passenger seat, as he's like, "Okay, I guess I can try." As he casts a sending spell, I turn it on. I just I first put it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it into neutral. Be careful! We only have one of those things. <laughs> Are you trying to kill us? I'm landing, and then I put it into drive. I'm landing. And as yeah, you as you proceed to, to, in, to you start know. driving, uh, <laughs> you see Breer and cast uh, cast Mage Hand again and clap. As you're <laughs> as you're driving forward, and you're suddenly on the main street, near uh, nearer to the gate than the castle, but you're oh, still oh, oh. on the main street. Just going through with it, and I'm looking for any open gate, and I'm just driving through it. No, no need to stop. Just all right. As they leave the garage, weird kids, weird weird kids. Just uh, bro, well, we're about to. I'm, I'm just saying, a, weird kids. Time for a lovely, lovely steak. <laughs> no, it's just like uh, weird kids. Weird kids pulls out a gun to model kit. Now let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Slot A goes into slot All right. B. Alright. So, as you're driving through the city, uh, the rest not of the stopping crew... stopping at any checkpoints. The rest of the crew is joined by... Uh, is joined by Leopold once more. Okay. Well, I'm not here, so... 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll All be right. your featured um, commentator this evening. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm assuming that's phase one. It's oh, not, not even almost. Phase. Almost. Mm -hmm. Like with phase one. Point, phase one. So I don't know. You we, know his, we got his one check mark done of phase one. Nice. That's all you need to know. Um, d where's, where's um, fucking Ramiel? Where Ramiel? He's still in the. Uh, he's still in the dining hall that you all left. Okay. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, you cut back to the to the arena. It's just like where I've got a lovely bunch of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lovely bunch of nuts. <laughs> Did it cut off um, a coconut? Yep. yep. Yes. God damn it. It was nuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Doodly doo. -doo. Anyways. Uh, um, what a lovely bunch of nuts. So, uh, let's see. Um, where exactly, uh, how far away is the arena from me? Do I know? Uh, you don't. Uh, I would like to figure out, um, where... Do you have a tracker uh, in the watch? Sure. I would assume so. Probably. Uh... <clears throat> It is a few thousand meters below you. Okay. Does it have outer walls or is it underground? It is underground. Fuck. Okay. Oh, is this happening at on the same day? Yes. That me get okay. So maybe just wait till tomorrow then. That's part of the point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. In the meantime, Connie, I ordered you to to fuck. You know what? No, I'm not going anywhere with that joke. I, I think I know where you were headed with that, but um. I anyways, to fuck I, Romeo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Get him his I will actually go and uh, knock on the door where Romeo is. Don't, no, no, don't. You don't actually have Enter. to. Do that. Uh, hi. Oh, Can I, well, hello. This was a mistake. Um, <clears throat> did um, uh, you mentioned us staying here, right? Yes. I, yeah. Please um, feel do, free. Did you have rooms prepared for us? Yes. At all? Uh, you can ask the captain to guide you to them, or you uh, could stay in mine. Uh, I'll I'll be okay. Um, John Tron, I need your whistle for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I will. I'll go speak with the captain then. All all right. Right. Just shuffle off. Just don't be surprised if you see me. Yeah. That's not great. I hate that. Um, I will go shuffle off to find the captain. Uh, he's he's sure just right outside the door. The <laughs> Romeo I'm not noticing that. When I knew him. Yeah. Okay. I uh, can guide hi. you to the rooms if you wish. Or rooms. Creepy. Thank you. I mean, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Okay. Connie getting all flustered. Flu well, I. W it's not flustered. This is downright uncomfortable. Yep. Anyways, uh, he guides you to these uh, to these kind of very nice uh, rooms. Each of you have your own room, uh, if you want. Uh, you kind of just you know are guided to them and are left in your rooms. Okay. Um. Okay. So I what I would like to um do is potentially roam about the um uh well first um what time is it uh it's getting close to like seven or eight. Oh, in the night oh it's really early in the night okay um so i'm assuming khan's probably just dipped like he usually does he just kind of disappears for no reason he's uh um, he's doing his part of the plan um so i will um say that uh i'd like to uh i, I kind of pull out my watch and uh type in or i guess if none of us have anything to do we'll wait for it to be a little bit later in the night okay um and uh doing that then i will eventually kind of get up after, out of the bed and just kind of type into my watch and um assume the identity of your typical guard if possible okay um um, As you bring out your watch, you hear a knock on the door. Please. Oh, okay. <clears throat> no. I 
close up the watch and yeah. I um <sighs> okay. yeah I will um I, I'll go open the door this can't this shouldn't be please don't let it be Ramiel making you see like Ramiel the eye Damn patch it. over his left eye smiling as he <laughs> puts his hand on your chest and starts pushing you backward into the room. Um, uh, hey, Paul, please be somewhere nearby. <laughs> he gives you, he's giving you a smile of, I guess arousal would be the proper term until it shifts oh. into something of. This is lust. That's what this is. I guess you could say something of intrigue. <laughs> Almost like he's staring at a cut of meat he hasn't seen before. Oh, uh, what stop it! What are your secrets? His right <sighs> eye flashes, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Jeez. Okay. This is so wrong. <laughs> I feel violated. I'd, I'd, te I'd tell you not to drop the soap, but I mean, it's gonna happen whether or not I, I you think drop I, it. I think I'll be forced to drop the damn soap, regardless. Well, he'll okay. drop the soap for you. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a fucking uh, this is that's the a worst. seventeen. What? When I made this you character see... from my character's backstory, Hush I up. didn't think it would end up like this. Hush up. No, you shut you up. See... You're the one who made. You <laughs> see darkness start to. Climb up the sides of your face. Almost like the darkness itself is a creature. As it goes okay. to cover your eyes, Please, your God. mental fortitude pushes back the darkness. <sighs> you don't want to tell me your secrets. I just wanted to get to know you a bit better. That's all. God, I, be... I didn't I think appreciate it. the invitation, but I'd like to keep my secrets where they are and everything else. Thanks. And my pants on. All right, keep ah, your secrets. I mean... Keep your secrets. I hate this. I just I simply this. wished to understand. His face goes deadpan. I'm so fucking uncomfortable right now. <clears throat> In that case, I'll simply ask you. What are you? I tried to sort of calm my expression and I um, say, I'm just a rare breed of hellspawn. Make a deception check for me, please. Um, that is... No, fuck that. Do it better. Um... All right, that is... That's a 14. First roll of the game is a nat 1. Oh. Uh, I For a 13. Describe to you the oh. stomach. Oh. Oh. oh, that was... I was about to say, I didn't have to re-roll. I'm glad I did that time. Oh. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, nat 1 for a 13. Uh... Well, I see you're very oh. rare. Very but rare. what's unusual to me is that I have never once seen your face. Never in all of my time gazing into the font of knowledge have I once seen your face. Font of knowledge? You don't need to worry about that. Okay. Kind of like awkwardly fiddle with the tuft of my tail <clears throat> with my hand. He leans in really close to your face. I kind of lean back. I hate this. I'll speak to you later. As he kind of boops your nose and I leaves like the you, room. And I want you. Yep, yeah, looking forward to it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You're a fucked up man. I love how uncomfortable Ramiel makes you guys. Well, okay. It's more it's, uncomfortable uh, for this... me because when I made the character for the backstory, I didn't think you'd do it this. That's the risk you run when you give DM ammunition. He'll use it in ways that you don't expect. 
Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Anyways, indeed. I um as as he closes the door, I kind of just like grab my chest and I'm like, huh. Um, uh, uh, uh. And then I um will take out a um like a, a brush from my backpack and just kind of like scrub myself down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You Fair. should take a shower Fair. if you're dirty. Uh, don't take a shower, anyways. <sighs> don't run the risk don't. of dropping Shut soap. Shut up. Run the risk of dropping the soap, God. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, so it's, uh, I, I wait a little bit until I'm certain that the footsteps have disappeared. And then I pull out the watch again. I check outside the door. There's no one I there. I close the door. And then okay. I, then I disguise myself. A hologram overcomes my body and slowly rolls up like you're rolling out a, uh, like, I guess a bunch of pieces of checkers all in, all in, like, a uniform. Right rolling stay almost like sequins or something and it just kind of rolls up over me and i assume the identity of a guard okay uh and uh, then i will take a step out and i will peruse the palace um going to uh searching towards the lower levels where i know that the arena is okay um you and... proceed downward ah uh, uh, and so downward. Yep, and downward. Okay. And okay. downward. And downward. Did I All right. You yep. go down. No, I, I didn't hear that the first. Did I few mention times. that in fact? <laughs> what is this? Two thousand leagues under the sea. As what long as it's not on? downward, dog, I'm fine. As you. That doesn't make it better. Go down. <laughs> the steps. It feels like they go on forever. Oh my gosh, reverse Bowser staircase. It it just keeps going and going and going. Um, until you come to the bottom where you see a door. Um I will um I'm gonna run a like a. I'm gonna push up the side of my glasses, despite the fact that through the illusion they won't be seen. But I um. It just looks like regardless. you're adjusting your helmet. Yeah, I In push up the way. side of it, and I kind of um. You're scratching your nose or something. Uh, I um, then look at the uh. I look at the door and uh, see if I if there's any uh, traps or if it's locked. Make or... an investigation check. All right, that's a. 14. All right, a 14. It does not seem to be trapped, and it is unlocked. All right, well, if that's the case, I will tentatively turn the, turn the knob and peek through. Okay. As you, tur as you touch the knob, you feel that shadow crawling up your face again. I need you to make another wisdom save. I instinctively kind of knob. grab at my uh, tail again. It is... Um, it is technically a magical effect so you would have advantage against it oh cool dude i can't i can't help feel dirty when you said knob uh the knob 12 god I, you fail god i wish that was me <laughs> as the shadows I don't wish that was me. <laughs> as the shadows creep up across your face i need you to think of a memory Oh, no. All right. What kind of memory would flash through Connie's face right now? Or through his mind? Um, yeah. I guess I could drag oh, uh, you into one-on-one -on -one if you want. No, I'm all right. Um, so what uh, What he sees is he's um, he, he sees a forest in, in front of him. He um, looks down at his legs and sees that he's uh, sitting on what seems to be a stump as he's uh, fiddling with... Uh, set of gears and some other trinkets in his hand kind of fitting them together as he sees a uh, small half-orc running uh, around in front of him as he practices kicking the dummy uh, and, and he uh, so the half-orc seems to be not very tall, he seems to be quite young, a uh, little above the age of a toddler mm -hmm. and uh, as he's um, making a a few different kits, which are surprisingly well formed for someone as young as he is. And uh, he just kind of glances up at him, smiles, and returns to his um, 
returns to his work. Okay, make an intelligence save as it tries to pry deeper. Uh, that is a 21. Okay. What is a memory you choose? Oh, wait, that's not a 21. That's a, um, that's, wow, I was looking at the wrong one. Um, that's, shoot, my brain, hold on, give me a sec. I'm stupid. Um, We're all stupid here. We all down, down here. Okay, there we go. It was a 24. Okay, it was a 24. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, what is a memory you choose? Um, I choose, as it tries okay. to pry at your memories. Um, it it sees a um an image of this. Uh, it sees me uh, once again through my view, sitting on a desk, and um, typing through uh what looks to be a. Uh, lines of code on the screen as then I am uh, fiddling with what appear to be different uh, motherboards and have a screwdriver while I'm screwing it in and um, I then glance over into my bag pulling out this um, amber looking stone as I kind of glance over it and Kind of just observe it before putting it back. Okay. Make another intelligence save. All right. This again, but uh. All right, that is a. That's another twenty-four. Okay. Or actually, no, that's a twenty-five. Okay. 25. Zool, I want to apologize for help making this character. <laughs> um, another memory you choose. All right. Um. I am, uh, he sees, um, uh, what you see is trees rushing under me as I am, um, sort of, I seem to be gliding or soaring above them as I'm, uh, just kind of looking down at them and I, um, I am, uh, what is it? Yeah, kind of gliding, gliding through the air, what it seems, and images of green rushing towards me as I kind of go up looking up at the sky then down through the trees and I pop up through the tree line once again and there's a sudden bright flash as I am uh, thrust into a dark uh, bedroom as I kind of flop down on the ground and uh, rub my head and the vision stops there okay as you as you think of this final memory, you feel almost like suction cups slowly leaving your, like almost leaving your skin. The octopus, or not octopus, but the shadow slowly uh, fades from your face and returns to the knob as you see one eye just golden. Return of the knob. As it looks at you. And the I... darkness slowly schlups off of the knob. Again. My Are choice you... of wording, I hate. <laughs> He's doing this to mess with you. Alright. What do you do now, Connie? The darkness schlups off the knob. You don't hear uh you don't hear anything alerted or anything like that. sort of shake my head and steal myself before I try to continue forth. Okay. If possible, stepping through the door. Yeah. As you step through the door, uh, you don't see anyone. Alright, well... You I'll... find yourself in a large, giant cluster of bleachers. 
stone slabs made into fashioned fancy seats with velvet pillows and lovely, lovely things just placed on them. This arena could easily seat about a thousand people. Thousand? <laughs> right? Um, I guess, uh, looking around, does it seem like there's a, um, I assume there's, like, cages lining it? Yeah, yeah, there are, there are uh, arena in it, cages, like a... uh, in the arena, and then you see yeah. some, uh, some barred windows above the arena as well. Uh, does it seem to be that there is any indication of getting into those areas from where I am, or that, or do I have to go to a lower level? Uh, it doesn't seem like you'd be able to reach the upper ones from where you are, but you'd probably easily be able to reach the lower ones. Okay. Um, well, uh... Alright, um... I will... then go and... I guess, in, I guess investigate the uh, cages, I guess. Okay. So you go down into the arena. Um, <clears throat> well, mm, do I have to go in there to get into them? Or is, does yeah, there seem to yeah, be a back you'd, way? You'd have to go into the arena to look into the cages from where you are. Okay. Um, from a side of the arena, can I see into cages while walking along the... Sort While of the, walking along the like lowest the railing. Be bleachers yeah. and stuff, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you'd be able to see okay. into them. Um, most of them are empty. All right. Until you look into one, and it just seems like the darkness is consuming it. Do you allow the voice in? Uh, what does the voice sound like? Do you allow it in? No. I don't water the plants. The voices get loud. No. Make an intelligence okay. save. Alright. Doing a lot of these. Alright. That is a 21. All you hear is help. From no real voice, you just hear help. Do you let the voice in? Why I the sound effect? Going to stop. Uh, not let the voice in, but I want to push up my glasses and see if I can uh, any, uh, in some possible way investigate the um, or at least use my perception because I'm not close enough to okay. it. I'm assuming I'm looking at it from the opposite Roll side. Roll a perception check. Alright. Um, 13. As you're looking into the cage, the darkness just seems to be all-consuming to it. Until you see that same blank golden eye just staring at you. Do you let the voice in? And to be clear, it's, it hasn't... Whenever it's, like, touched me, it's never hurt me. No. Okay. Um... No, I still don't. Okay. Make another int save. Um, you might just want to get away from the cage. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start moving away from it. Okay. Make your int um, save first, though. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Wow, the same roll twice. You stinky, stinky. All right. What'd you get? <laughs> that's a, this that's a 12. You didn't let the voice in, but it broke in anyways. I had a feeling it would do that. <clears throat> I'm so cold. I'm so hungry. I just want to go home. Uh, I just want to see them again. Be clear, this is Help not me. Me. Please. Help me. You see a flash of two young girls with 
almost angelic wings. Their faces almost featured, but like they've been rubbed smooth. Glowing. Smiling. I just want to see them again. Help me. Please. Uh. kind of like awkwardly rub my arms and wipe away a little bit of sweat from my neck. Uh, can you hear me? Someone. Finally another voice. After all this darkness. Who, who are you? I was simply a man who lost faith, who tried to keep balance, but failed. Um, how did you get stuck here? I thought that'd be your answer. <sighs> um, do you know how you could be freed? I don't. I just need help. Okay. Strong curse. Must remove. Curse, alright, well, that sounds more like Advent's territory. Or mine. Okay. Um, well, uh, I'm not exactly the most magically adept, but, um, I might be able to get some people that can help you. Do you think you can hold on? I'm so hungry. Waited this long, I guess. Um, uh, kind of root around in my pack. Um, I, uh, and pull out some, like, kind of, like, basic rations that we took from that store. Okay. And, um, and, uh, do you throw them into the arena? There's a cup of water, and yeah, and I just kind of toss them in. Okay. Or a um, bottle of water, I guess. Yeah, you toss in the rations. And from the shadows of the arena, you see a tentacle just whip out, grab it, and shoot it towards the, the cage. As you see a humanoid figure reach out a dark, cracked arm and grab the rations from the tentacle shakily. As you look, you see a man with smoothed features. His eyes seem to be covered in this dark flesh-like material. Um, As he now, grabs it oh, and just starts eating the rations. Um, little bit of metagamey, but also not at the same time. Uh, does, does he look familiar to me? Pause. Flesh like make a um make an insight check. Could be a stalker. I'm I think metagaming me knows who it is, but I uh I don't really think it's metagaming to make mm, an assumption. It, it's it, it's not, but no, I mean I know because of outside knowledge that would be the metagaming part. Uh shoot. Okay, yeah, but I. Mm, the insights, <laughs> that's at seven. It's not a high DC. It would have been like a five. He looks very similar, or at least his form looks very similar to that of it, the painting. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, All right. You're mad. You mean you need a shower? <laughs> All right. Sitting in my gamer boy bathwater. It feeds, but I do not. 
And do, do I um, happen to recall the name from the painting as well? Uh, Tenakar Fellman. Okay, that's what I thought. So, is your name Tenakar? No one has called me that in many a time. <clears throat> About 15 years. Is that I I haven't seen him how long before. you've been here? Ever since Ramiel took the throne. Right. Okay. Um, well, if those rations there can sate you for a bit, I promise I'll come back. Just in time when I have more resources. Do not come during the day. What happens during the day? It comes out. Alright, that sounds foreboding enough for me to listen. Um, <clears throat> alright. Uh, I smelled something new. Uh, is that what you are looking for? Um, was it a... Was it a guy? Kind of... Grumpy looking? No. Has a hat? I simply smelled it as it was awake. <laughs> what? Hmm. What? All right. Oh. Um, and I didn't see. I uh, I don't see any other things in the arena. Not in the cages. No. All right. Um. Uh. All right. Um, well, thank you for the food. Another oh, oh. dark tentacle will reach for the bottle of water and bring it to him as he opens it and begins to drink. I have right. not had real food and water in over seven years. Uh, um. Hmm. Do I, can I make like a history check to see from any knowledge that I have of this world that anything that can exist for seven years without real food or water? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, also, would I have advantage on this check? Enough? Nature check, okay. <clears throat> That's... Shoot. Okay. Um, what was that? That's a... That's a 14. Okay. To your knowledge, no, there is no creature that could possibly survive without food or water for seven years. In in this realm or others that you've heard of. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Except for maybe Archfey. Mm. That's just because mm. they're weird. Mm. All right. <sighs> well, uh... I'll try not to come back in the day then, but I'll be back. If you want to know where the new scent is from. A tentacle comes from the wall adjacent to him and points towards one of the barred windows in the upper floor. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll, I'll be back. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will. And I'll uh, t see if I can head up to where I think that um, might be. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, so. Grim. Uh, hold on. H hold on. I'm experiencing some technical difficulties. Give me a moment. <coughs> Alright, sounds good. Well, I had to reset my computer because something. It, oh. I, it crashed. Oh. Oh no. That's awful. Yeah. It's alright. Just give me a second. I'm, everything's restarting again. Alright. In that case, uh, Connie, make, mm. make an investigation check around no, right. the arena. 
Um, that is a 28. 28. All right. Bad. As you're looking through the arena, you find a door that it seems to not lead to the staircase that you were going up, or that you were going down previously. Mm-hmm. So you go through the door? Uh, yeah. All right. As you touch the knob of the door, you feel right. that shadow cover your hand and the eye just appear on the back of your hand looking at you. Uh, I try to just ignore it and push through. Okay. Just simply stares at you. Okay. All right. Back. Grim. You've been here for most of the day. You've been here for a few hours now. I think I'm just kind of hanging lifelessly. Do you well, let the voice in? Can I discern what the voice is? Do you let the voice in? You're not going to give me anything unless I say yes or no, is, are you? Do you let it in? Not initially. Okay. You do not let the voice in make an int save. Hold on. Sorry, I, I just downloaded the game. And whatever. Uh, God damn it. Why is it so difficult to get to that screen? Hold on. Int save? Int save, yes. <laughs> Come on, open, goddammit. Uh, ba ba ba. Nine plus three. Okay. Which is twelve, right? That does not pass. So even though you didn't let it in, it gets in. Hmm. You're a new smell, aren't you? Uh, I say, I don't say anything. <laughs> I like new smells. They're always so delectable. I would advise you don't stick around in my head too long. It's never safe. Oh, don't worry. I'm used to unsafe places. <laughs> Is it? Okay. Okay. Do I recognize this fucking voice? No. You do not. <laughs> what is your story, mortal? My story is not is not one that I My story is not one that someone like you would want to hear. But since you're intruding in my head, why don't you tell me yours? Oh, you want to know mine? I'll tell you. I am simply a brother. I was risen at birth by a god. I knew it! I was given a chance to live with my brother. But I betrayed him. I left him for dead. My brother... What are you? I... I am the Black Knight. Uh, I am the brother of loathing. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I have a reason to kill you after all then. Oh, you don't have to kill me. You see, I lived many years at my brother's throat. But then he showed me a way. A way we could live without me making the wrong choices. 
do I okay do I know the story of the Black Knight uh you know what make a history check okay that one plus seven so an eight you try to think of it you feel like you've heard of a storybook called the Black Knight but you can't really remember the story I was shown redemption, and in the face of that, I accepted my brother. We lived the way we wished. We lived the way we wanted. My brother showed me light where there was dark. But I very much like the dark where there is light. Hmm. I feel the day. He feels the night. I am awake during the day. He is awake during the night. Interesting. But what does that have to do with you talking to me? You are my next meal. That is all. Maybe. But you'll find that much harder to kill than anything you bought before. Perhaps you are. But perhaps you're not. Hey, uh, DM, is there any way that I can <clears throat> open my mind to him a bit more? Absolutely. Roll an Arcana check. Four plus seven. Four plus seven? Eleven? Yes. Yeah, it's not hard to open your mind to a presence that already forced its way in. As you open your mind, the voice immediately recedes and disappears. Hmm. Maybe I found... <laughs> okay. This is good. Fun. <laughs> and now... <laughs> and now I go back to obscurity until I'm needed again. Okay. So, Connie, as you enter the door yes. and you feel the eye just looking at you on the back of your hand. Sometimes the front, because it likes to switch sides. Yeah, right. You move up. Just when I'm... Yeah, it's just, it's staying on my hand? Yeah, it's just staying on your hand. It's not moving. <sighs> it's just an eye, or is it, like, snaked all the way up my torso, or what? It's just an eye. So it just looks like I'm a living shoo-shoo. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. No, you're that one guy from Naruto with the eyes on his hand. Oh, no, he had I'm mouths on his hands. Well, yeah, that's, that's Daedara. You're thinking of Donzo. Donzo had eyes on his arm. Yep. No, wait, you're the, the alien from Ben 10 who had eyes all over his body. Oh. Oh, that guy. Okay. Um, shoot. What was his name? I it was Eyes. No, it wasn't Izor. That was a different one. Uh, oh, that was, in, that was a, a Ninjago character. Anyways. Anyway. It's like eye something. As but, you, guy. as you move guy? upward, <laughs> right? Uh, I knew it was so stupid. <laughs> as you move upward a little ways, you reach these cells. You see adventurers Better not in be made of organelles. You see adventurers within. <laughs> Some of them just kind of sitting there as they look at you, hope drained from their faces. Um, Another you see then, is laughing as he throws things about his cell. So he's nuts. Okay. I'm gonna die, we're all gonna die, we're gonna die! <laughs> I'm a pretty bird, I'm a pretty bird! Um, you move through the cells... You see one man staring directly at the wall opposite him. His face towards the, the cell door as he's just staring. 
kind of idly through the illusion, play with my uh, the tip of my tail when it kind of it kind of looks like I'm uh, fiddling with the um, sword on my belt instead. Yeah. You see one of the adventurers run up to the door. Please, please, I don't want to die here. Please save me. Uh, uh, I don't <clears throat> want to die here. Um, they killed everyone else, please. Uh, My entire party is gone. Um, uh, you will uh, be fine. I kind of like awkwardly like, try to move on. You just, you just lightly smack him. No, please, <clears throat> please. You Get see, a hold of yourself. You see a couple of empty cells as you keep moving until you see one cell with a man in heavy, heavy armor and a crystalline badge on his left breast as he looks at you and stands, his armor clanging with the sounds of dragon scales. Oh, a wait. large sword strapped to his back. A dragon bone claw just it just on the hilt at the bottom of the pommel. As he walks towards the door and looks at you very intently with his right eye. That is no magical illusion. Oh. Ah. And with my, um, uh, currently what looks like part of my, um, uh, shoulder, uh, is it, pauldron, as part of the armor is, uh, my history drone sitting there, and it will very evidently scan him. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to, like, take note of him. Cute little toy you have there, boy. Yeah. Who who are you? <coughs> you can <coughs> simply call me Lee. 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 Okay. Gotcha. Um. <clears throat> so um. What, what what are you in for? I destroyed the barrier. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> wow, that's uh, <clears throat> impressive. How'd you manage to do that? I sliced Tell me. it. You pull out a notebook. Just, you just, you, you just, you just cut it. That's, um, <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's illegal. That's, um, <clears throat> uh, I've, I've heard crazier stories. <laughs> Like, um, like you're about to cry, dude. There's this uh, yeah, um, you know what? I don't have to explain myself to you. Uh, anyways, uh, I don't have to explain myself to you. I'm going up. Yeah, uh, what's up with all the others in here? Why are they uh, all here? I guess. Do I hear? I'm, you I'm new. Some of them are just adventurers who didn't accept the invite. Oh, you seem awfully calm. Why wouldn't I be? So, are they going to make you fight to the death then? I guess that's why you're calm. You'll win. They're eventually going to make me fight that thing down there. Gotcha. Is that an exchange for freedom or just for kicks? Until I'm their new champion. Then they'll keep gotcha. me down there like that. Mm. Can I hear them talking? Yes, actually, you are in the cell adjacent to them. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna hum. Also, bell. also, uh, Connie, as you're looking at at the guy's right eye, it looks like a dragon's. Okay. You've seen a dragon eye very up close. Yeah. 
<clears throat> is that all you wanted to ask? Uh, I, yeah, I'm just kind of uh, surveying the uh, area. I'm new to this whole thing, so it's kind of a bit of a culture shock, I guess. I'll tell um, you something, kid. Mm. One, your illusion's pretty cool, even though it's not magical. Two, right. be careful. <clears throat> Romeo watches a lot. Yeah, I gathered that. Alright, have fun, kid. Mm. That new guy Thanks seems for... a bit weird. Yeah, well, I'm also pretty weird. And I'll uh, walk <laughs> over to um. I'll you walk just over come to immediately him. after saying that. <laughs> no, what no, the no. fuck? He's just, he's just masturbating. It's fine. Anyways, <laughs> viciously, viciously masturbating. You just hear as you like get closer to my cell. I guess you just hear. Can you hear the whistling? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Um. Uh, Elden, is that you? <laughs> you? You just see him. He's not looking up at you, but he just sort of waves his right hand. <laughs> uh, so, if you uh, to figure out any other, like any. Ways of yeah. Out. Yeah. Well, I'm not exact. Can I try <laughs> breaking my chains again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> God, I am rolling so shit today. Uh, let's see. Uh, strength. This is just a normal roll, so... 2 plus 1, 3. Okay. Yeah, you don't break them. Unless I somehow develop the ability to break these chains, I'm not going anywhere. New guy, it's not that hard. Can I do it again, I guess? Go ahead and try, but as you do, you just hear Tree! Tree! And then be shat on my neck. What? Hey, hey, Cookie, what's hey, up? What's up, man? Oh, it's bad. <coughs> what's up, Cleric? Hey, Cleric. Not much. Will you be joining us? Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Anyways. Uh, so. To, uh, Ant. I got a 13 plus 1, 14. You do not break them, but you do hear the breaking of and shattering of metal from the cell next to you. And then you just hear a <laughs> from the cell door, and Connie, you see as he literally just pushes the door off of not only its hinges, but its lock as well. <laughs> With one hand as he just walks forward and places it down. Looks so, over at you. Not hard. Well, maybe uh, we're not all gifted with strength. Uh, so, what kept you in here if you could just do that? I don't know. I had a nice break from the contractor's union. I was happy about it the badge do i see his badge you do uh it is the highest honor badge but while this guy <clears throat> does look quite a bit like lord lestrade he is not yeah that's what i was wondering you're not he lestrade. seems to be quite a bit younger you're not lestrade so why are you wearing that badge because my old man gave it to me. Your old man. Yeah. What's your name? Well, like my dad's Lestrade, I am Lee Strahd. Oh. Do I know this guy? <laughs> uh, you would have heard rumors about Lestrade having a kid, but they were just that, rumors. Huh. So the rumors were true. Lestrade did get 
loosen up enough to have a kid. It got I mean, busy! Yeah. You could say that. <laughs> Although I don't know if you know what's going on with the contract creation right now. It's not exactly going well. My dad took over. That's all I know. <clears throat> well, what's someone like you doing here? He said he cut the barrier. Like, just sliced it. Did he? Well, he might actually be useful to me after all. He grabs your door and just rips it off with one hand yeah, and just tosses it to the side. Look, it's not that easy to break these. As he just puts his finger in between the two, uh, like in between your two arms and just pushes it with one finger and just man's built like a brick shit house and it's like ah, it's himbo. not that hard but like, come on man it's just a simple little flex that's all <laughs> quite literally uh, Ro is I'm just my chains and i fall to the floor i'm assuming Ye well yeah impressive tell me big man have you ever just thought about running out of here? Also, I will say, this guy looks like he's probably giant kin. Because hmm. he is big. He's wow. about nine feet tall. Huh. I didn't know the Strahd was into it. Man is a unit. What the f <sighs> So, Lee. How would you... How would you, like... To make to start a revolution. Eh. I'll probably leave or, after this. Or at least, I don't know. What if uh, look, I appreciated water? getting two square meals a day in a prison cell away from my dad's constant yammering, but I should head back. Uh, what 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 if what if we hired you? You got a contract. Uh, I kind of just look over to Elden. Uh, well, technically, a spoken contract is a form of contract. And depending on where you are, the legality of said contract is fleeting. But given the circumstances and us being fugitives of the law, I suppose, I suppose breaking the rules wouldn't hurt. I like this guy. How much are you willing to pay? As much as you are willing to take. I mean, you know, reasonably. Uh, 20 Electrum? Uh, 20? 20. Huh? Done. That's done. But, first, we're going, we are going to, but let me tell you the plan. And I relay to him the plan that we have, which I'm not going to tell you. Please do, actually. I'm going to no. require you to tell me because of Lee. Don't say anything. All right. No. Shh. Shh. Silence. You fuckers. We can. We can. We can drag him along. Okay. I'm not going to tell him the plan, and I'm going to tell him this tomorrow when I get a chance to fight that brick shit house of a knight over there. Follow my lead. So you're uh, trying to fight the Black Knight? Not fight. Simply distract. There are cogs in motion preparing to... Resources for my escape. Uh, and, uh, Elden, do we plan hmm. on getting others out? Hmm. I mean, they seem to be kind of in the, uh, tough situations. In my mind, Logically, would it, because because of who I am and what I am attempting to do, would it be simpler? Would it be simpler to leave them behind, or would it be better to free them? Oh, it would be simpler to leave them behind. It would be, but it would also probably make me look a lot better. If you saved them, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Um, you can't see it, but a devious 
smile grows on Grimm's face. Yes. In fact, we're getting everyone up. Alright, I guess this will be part of my job. Part of... Exactly. <sighs> but for right now, go back to your cell and please put the doors back on. Connie, get back. Go <clears throat> outside. Go outside and meet with the others. Tomorrow we're going to start... <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be fun. As you... Right. As you, uh... See Lee kind of pick up the door and just kind of put it back forcefully. Okay. Well, <clears throat> have fun, I guess. Thank you. I'll let you know when the time's right. Alright. Well, just so you know, they were planning on having me fight that thing tomorrow, too. Well, I'm certain... I'm certain we'll work something out. Then, then, right. well, then you'll be my... You'll be my aid. Alright. I'd rather like to not die during this. And I... That's and fair. As much as I hate to admit it... And as much as I'd hate to admit it, I don't think I can fight it. Not by myself. Well, that's but to certainly kill him. true. But remember, the goal necessarily isn't exactly to kill him. Just distract him. You just want to distract the Black Knight. Maybe. Depending. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. And Connie, hmm. remember, keep contact. And if Ramiel, and remem and if Ramiel says anything, you didn't see anything. Yeah, um, well, just a heads up, I think he's been prying into my head progressively. He hasn't seen anything about the plan or anything, but... Come here a second. Been... Okay. He puts his hand on your shoulder, and DM, if you would allow me, I would like to give him... I would like to use one of my abilities to grant him a buff against psychic attacks. What's the phrase you use? I, you see, I grab your shoulder, lean, mm -hmm. into your, lean into you very close, mouth to ear, and whisper, The mind is a terrible thing to lose. And as soon as I say that, you feel, you feel something surround your head. It's not uncomfortable, but it's a little pressure around your head. Something has... Something has taken root around your psyche. Ugh. That should give you an edge. Connie, when that happens... Are you okay? Uh, is that, um... It's Tenakar. Tenakar's voice? Um, I guess in my head I'll respond. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm fine. Why do you ask? That was darker than I am. Hmm? Noted. Noted. What do you say? Um. Uh, thanks, Elden. Uh, appreciate it. Good. Oh, and he grabs you by the shoulder before you leave. Hmm? And I would rather appreciate if you just called me Grim for a little while longer. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Grim? Coolio. Oh, and by the way. Hmm? Be very careful about Ramia. I don't know what's gotten into him, but he seems to have taken a sip cursed knowledge. He did mention something about the, was it the font of knowledge? He said the same thing. Well, hmm. he can't have had very much of it because he's not omniscient. He's smart, but not omniscient. Remember that. Hmm. All see right. You see you tomorrow. I kind of trot off. I'm being ominous. <laughs> you just hear that ominous. Sorry. <laughs> no, you don't hear that. Screams in the in the cell. I will stay with you. He will not know. I have learned to keep myself somewhat awake. Mm. Well, the day. 
Though this is probably the best I can do. Well, we plan on busting everyone out, so, and distracting the Black Knight, so. Oh, and also, I just want to make... Oh, go ahead. What? I was just going to make mention that when I said the phrase, the mind is a terrible thing to lose, your eyes noticeably got a little greener. Okay. Just a touch more green. <clears throat> That's it. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Connie. Yeah. That is what he called you, correct? Mm-hmm. That's my name. Don't worry about it. It is lovely to meet you. I am well. Tanakar, but you already knew that. Right. And I, we'll... Did Cookie leave again? Yeah. yeah. We'll oh, do our best to get everyone out, and I might have some friends who might be able to help with whatever's going on with you. Or maybe at least know some people. All right. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. And I will... Well, I'm going to stay with you. I don't want to go back when he's awake. Okay, how... Wait. How are you doing that anyways? How am I doing this? Hmm. I simply put the majority of my psyche into a small piece of myself. I Does your it into your mind without permission, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's fine. I've had a lot of invasions today. <laughs> Speaking of invasions, Connie, as you leave the Colosseum, I need you to just. It, it's not going to affect anything right now, but I need you to roll a Wisdom saving throw and send me what you got. I just send it in the meme brigade. <clears throat> yeah, and then I'll send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll tell El Capitan over here what I'm doing. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and I guess I will um then head out of the uh, area. All right. As you leave the arena. Tanakar's psyche following you on your hand as you're going upstairs preparing for your plan whatever that might be <laughs> as you ascend the stairs we're going to go on break yeah we'll be back in about 15 20 minutes and we'll see you guys then
Mama Guevo. Also, since we haven't actually said it at all today, anime titty milk. Oh. Anime titty milk. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's get back into this. So, uh, Advin. Yeah. You've been driving through the. Thought. You've been driving through the city for a while. Uh, so you finally reach the castle. Uh, kind of driving through all the all the stops and whatnot. With the the small little bird on your shoulder that you know is super stiff and just uncanny. You just you just fucking. It's just like Rachel's in the seat. Now. Now, gently lees off the clutch. Floor it! Floor it, is that what you said? No. Gently, gently, gently! Yeah. So you finally reach the castle. What do you do, Advin? Well, first I'm gonna park it. Yep. Park and lock it. Amazingly, amazingly, parallel, parallel parking. Parallel park it. Yeah. I think it'd just be funny. It's like he's struggling to drive it, but he manages to perfectly parallel park. Like, oh, <laughs> barreling, barreling down the street, like making crazy turns, and then you just instantly just you slides hear, into their. You hear people like screaming as he nearly hits them, <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> right in between two horse-drawn carriages, just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just like making sharp turns, flying right. <laughs> Rachel I gets out stop. of the vehicle and just throws up. I'm, I'm sorry. It's my first time. That's not... That's not what she said. <laughs> You're not supposed to throw up after your first time. <laughs> I mean, just depends yeah. on how, how fun the first time was. Uh, <laughs> or unfun. Or unfun. Uh... Anyways. Uh, but yeah. Me and Rochiel are now near the castle. You're now right I'm outside gonna... the castle. Parallel yeah, parks so... between two carriages. Yeah. So I'm actually going to put um, an alarm spell. So in case anyone tries to go near it or move it or touch it, it'll trigger the alarm. It's All right. just a car alarm. <laughs> 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 Anyways, yeah, and then I'm like, oh, it should be good for now. We need to head back in there. Do you want Who to come you with me? Out drive? Do you want to come with me, Rashio? I I would understand if you don't want to go. She's looking up at it. Look back at it. He said the plane's going off tomorrow, right? Yeah. Then I'll wait till tomorrow to go in. As she just hops into the back seat and just goes to sleep. Uh, night. <laughs> well, yeah, pro Avin might just, uh, take a, uh, probably not take a nap, but at this point, go back into invisibility and, uh, he wants to scout out the castle, get a better layout of the area. Here he knows where, like, the dining room is. And, and the trophy you know, room, stuff. and, yeah. Yeah. So you just want to explore wants... further into the castle. I want to, yeah, get a better layout so when, when the plan does go down, Evan won't get lost. Okay. Uh, roll... Roll survival, I'd say. As you're roll going survival. through the side. As you're going through the castle. Uh, got myself a natural 20. Hey, let's Woo! go! Second one of the game. Yeah. Or third one, because Leopold got yeah, one, Kyle got game. one, and Evan got one. Yeah. Anyways, as you're moving through the castle, uh, here, let me change the the playlist back to evil. Anyways. Evil? Evil? Evil. E Anyways. E as you're moving through the castle, Adam, the doors and whatnot that you pass by, that you look in, there's nothing really to them. There's barely anything in this castle. Well, I'm not looking for contents, but each turn and corridor and door he finds, he's basically making a map. 
Right. A mental map. Mm -hmm. So you're looking- Not a mental map, he's physically drawing one. You're looking through the castle, and you eventually come upon a cellar. I'll proceed to go into it. <laughs> you open the cellar door? Yes, I do. Roll a wisdom save for me. Does a 19 pass? It does. As you oh, as you reach towards the door, you feel this overwhelming sense of constriction on your body as you push it out. And you're fine. As you open the door, immediately you're hit with the smell of decay and refuse. As you look through this cellar, you see the bodies of hundreds, possibly even thousands of people. What is this? Edmund's like kind of drawing <clears throat> kind of the scene he's witnessing right now. Okay. With like with like charcoal. As you step into the cellar, torches begin to light up. And just the bodies lining this cellar, bones, partly decayed people. And you feel a pull. And I make a arcana check to see if there's anything magical. Absolutely. Right, I've got a 16 plus 13, 29. The pull makes you feel excited. Like there's electricity running through your body. So this is what a boner feels like. Do you follow All the right. pull? As of right now, I will follow it very cautiously. I'd say when you get about a hundred feet of where you feel the pull coming from, I need you to make a wisdom save. I got a 16 plus 5, 21. You pass. But the pull feels so much stronger here. And there's so much excitement bubbling through your body. Oh, yes. He's like, kind of just doing some breathing techniques to, to center his focus. Okay. As you're walking <clears throat> further and further, you find it. The thing that was making your body feel like it was on a cloud, streaking through it like it was lightning. You see a large, and I mean ginormous, yellow crystal. Here at the base of this castle. Would Evan know what kind of crystal it is? Make a nature check. Nature? Okay, I have some. Natural all 20! 25! All, all these people saying pee is stored in the balls. Nah, my pee is stored in the crystal. You would understand what this is as you have heard tales of it through Mistar and culture. You, however, have never actually seen Electrite in person. Electrite was a natural resource that was found on the back of Dravine and getting closer to his main body. It is a crystal that naturally emits an arcane electricity. But this one seems different somehow. It feels like it's drawing you in. I need you to make another wisdom save. All right. Um, so, I got a bad roll. Uh, two plus five, seven. I'm assuming that's a fail. It is. 
As you get Oof. closer and closer to this crystal, you reach out and touch it. And you take Take 25 points of lightning damage. Oh! And you also notice that your invisibility is gone. Yeah, his heart kind of sinks when he notices. What the hell was that, Edvin? I don't know. It just came over me. What was it? I, I don't know. It but hurts. It hurts. Uh, uh. You take another uh. 13 points of lightning damage as it surges through your body once more. Oh, and it's like a direct current. And it really lets you know you touched it. Yeah, and the pain dissipates. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's he not get... do that ever again. Yeah, Advin is going to try to do something to kind of maintain this crystal. He's probably thinking this is what's causing that the, you know, big lightning storm outside. Okay, what are you going to try and do? I want to try to cast Dispel Magic on it at 5th level. As you try to cast your magic, you feel like an electric shock runs through your body and you can't cast it. Messing with my magic. It's not good. I don't, I don't feel right, Edvin. You're, Advin, you you're begin to feel cold. Oh, no. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> no! What'd Get away roll? from the wall. That was a natural one. <laughs> oh, no. Advin. It's, it's my scream of no. You gain two points of exhaustion. You have a minus four to every roll that takes a d20. What the fuck? That is just rude, yo. Yeah, so it's kind of like that Brian Reynolds scene in Deadpool. He's just like turning and just like, what the fuck? Collapses. Yup, basically. Alright. Is he still awake or is he knocked out? What's You're going awake. on? You're just exhausted. Just... <sighs> I... I don't like this, Advin. Conserve your energy, or take a rest. As the cold spreads through your body, the electricity, the, the electric feeling is replaced by that of ice. As Yorin falls into a slumber. Each, like, every time it gets colder, Advin's gonna try to crawl away okay. get move move as far away as he can okay roll a wisdom save ah okay so all right um do i have to do disadvantage or just minus four uh minus four just minus four yeah, okay my, so my exhaust gonna be eight system works 18 different. 18, 18. All right, yeah you pass barely <sighs> The pull yeah, feels been, yeah. very, very strong. Evan's just you crawling yourself away from, it. away from it. And I you, was just crawling away from it. And you crawl your way out of the out of the basement. <laughs> I can't go snake just yet. I need you to take four points of lightning damage. <sighs> Brought me down to 70, my dude. 
That's what happens when you mess with Electrite without the proper protective equipment. <laughs> but I don't know anything about well, Electrite. Well, it should be in the name, it's Electricity. <laughs> hey, 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 Agnes never heard of this stuff. He's heard of it, but he's never interacted with it before. You um, don't know I will say passion. I need you to make one more constitution save as well. <sighs> as you get out of the cellar. It does a 16 pass. It does not. Yeah. You are blinded for a full <sighs> hour. <sighs> so your vision just cuts out. As so you feel this electric current go up your spine and essentially surge through your brain. <sighs> and you hear something, Advin, in your head. A child of my birth left in the desert to rot. A child who has abandoned me. Unworthy. <laughs> The last word you hear from the voice is just unworthy. As it just echoes through your head. He's Evans just saying to himself, I didn't want your approval. Alright. Yeah, he's just breathing heavily. He's just like down there. He's yep. just tired. <clears throat> That's fair. As you're completely blind, it's just kind of... Just lying by there, just breathing heavily. Trying not to die. Yup. I'll say at the end of the hour of blindness, you take another six points of lightning damage. <laughs> As the current seems to surge through your body, but re-stimulate your neurons as your eyes and even your brain feels clearer you have a plus five to intelligence saving throws uh till your next long rest Why do I... buddy <laughs> that means i have a plus 14 to my it saving throw minus four but yeah <laughs> that don't really matter now. yeah <laughs> yeah so admin is just going to pick himself up and continue to slowly but surely continue his, his walk through the castle. Okay. Do you try casting invisibility on yourself again? I'm gonna try, yeah. Alright. It casts without without uh, without difficulty. That's good to know. Electrite <laughs> is some nasty stuff, dude. <laughs> I know, dude, you practically took out half my health. No, oh, you yeah. did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Evan's going to continue continue that until he either gets hot or he's finished and he can leave the castle. All right. You Where go I'm... through a few more rooms uh, and you notice a few more corpses. <clears throat> These ones have the distinct smell of uh these these corpses have the distinct smell of <clears throat> a <clears throat> I guess a burnt corpse oh yay my yeah. favorite so hey, where hey, I where I marked in the cellar where I found the electrite, I just put a lightning bolt next to it, and anything that's like unique with all these bodies, like with the burnt smell, you just gonna put a flame next to it with a skull. Okay. <clears throat> um, I will say they are definitely electrical burns. If you went to go ahead and and, and check. Oh, also, uh, Advin, where would you like the electrical scar to be? The electrical scar. Yeah. Ooh. Right across his left eye. Um, 
As you enter one of the rooms, you notice a mirror. And across your the left side of your face, over your left eye, looks like there's lightning across it. God, chow. <laughs> God. <coughs> I hate you sometimes, and I love you so much. God damn. Um... That caught me know. off guard. That caught me so off guard. Anyway, so that's when he, he just stares into the mirror. God, chow. Good chow. I can't say that. Anyways, so yeah, you see uh, this this scar across your face. Well, then that's that's not good. She told me to keep this pretty face in check. <laughs> Now I know. And now, forever and in time memoriam, if Advin ever sees a TV, he's gonna think twice. <laughs> Advin will remember that. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Advin's just gonna continue his route, kinda not touching it, because it's probably still fresh and burns and... Right. So he's just like, probably gonna sip Drink one of his potions of healing, for sure. Okay. I'm scheming a scheme. So, how much uh, does it heal? Uh, if it's one of the normal health potions. Uh, yeah, just one, one of my normal health. It was like one, one of the few potions uh, I believe Connie gave me before we started this expedition. That one <clears throat> is uh, just the normal 2d4 plus 4. Uh, it's gonna be 10 HP, okay. <laughs> Alright, I would say at least that would just give, give me enough so that at least the burn the burning scabs would go away. Yeah. Alright then. Yeah, I'm gonna just continue making this map, because I wanna at least get this map for the group so everyone knows where stuff is. Okay. And let me know until I reach, like, the downstairs where, like, the prisoners would be. Oh, yeah, well, you, you would find the staircases, but that is a long journey. That is fair. I probably won't go down it, but I'll at least mark where the stairs are. Yeah. You find a few places where the stairs are that lead downward. What downward stairs? But they also lead up the castle as well, so, you know. Yeah. But I'm at least marking the ones that just strictly go down into, like, that dark pit. Yeah. They must be dying to fall in. You do also find a couple more uh, cellar doors. <clears throat> you know, yes, I'm going to check them out. <laughs> All right. For one of, uh, for at least the first, uh, or at least the second one, you feel that same electrical pull. Close it. Body. Mark it on the map. Just right. close it. Mark it on the map. He ain't touching me. <laughs> All right. And Done. When you open Moving the on. second one, you feel the same electrical pull. Done. Close it. Mark it on the map. <laughs> you marked all three electrite, uh, electrite areas on your map. Cool, cool. Any other places of important that Admin might need? Uh, there is an armory. Doesn't have a lot in it. Mostly just Still a couple of spears. It. About 30 crossbow bolts. Uh, and one small barrel with about, like, uh, I'd say one kilogram of black powder in it. Ooh, I'm actually interested in that. Can I proceed to get get a few handfuls of them, put them in like a container, so I can put them in my bag of holding? You can just put the full one kilogram barrel in there. Oh, I didn't know if I could fit it in the bag itself. So yeah, uh, I'm the kilogram is not much. I didn't. You said barrel, so. Oh well, yeah, it's just a small like barrel though. Okay, then I'll put it in my bag of holding. I'm taking that. Okay. Don't forget your prayers to Kaboom. Don't you never know when you need some boom powder, okay? Well, yeah, he just said, "Don't forget your prayers to Kaboom, the god of explosions and black powder." He don't, he, do, he don't, he don't pray to Kaboom. So it's true. <laughs> Anyways, 
So, uh, after you've moved through the majority of this, uh, of this place, it's just kind of empty. You found a few sleeping quarters where you found, like, sleeping guards, a few sleeping servants, some of them with electrical scars on their bodies. Um, but yeah. All right, then I'll try to find my way to, uh, to the group where the Leopold, Cleric, all that, the, those fine fellas are at. Where all those fuckers are at. All right. You make your way upstairs. And <clears throat> as you finish your way upstairs, it, it's taken you about an hour to make it through the castle. And as you go upstairs, you come face to face with the captain of the guard. Oh, what's up? I'm going to lead you to your room now. Yeah, um... Why do you guys have so much of that dangerous stuff? Huh? I see a lot of people with electrical scars. What's going on? Are you sure you what's going on? the one on yourself. <laughs> he's just kind of... Yeah, no, he just says... <laughs> <laughs> As he leads you through the trophy room once more, you see that the gauntlet you noticed the first time you had gone through is missing. Where did the gauntlet go? Given to someone. Is it someone I know? I don't know. <clears throat> leads you upstairs and to a uh, room that is well furnished it's very nice it's a lavish room uh with like a, a dressing uh a dressing closet and like you know a, a nice sitting desk and a bunch of like little hors d'oeuvres placed out on a on a coffee table in like a little sitting area with two couches and a large pavilioned bed uh at the very end of the room there's the others <clears throat> They're in the rooms adjacent to you. You can talk to them when you wish. All right, well, to the little. He closes the door, and you hear his footsteps leave. All right, and I'm proceed to knock on everyone's door. All right, fellas, I'm back. <clears throat> oh, hi. I'm in prison, so I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm seated in the clank. Uh, I will say, when you reach uh, Khan's room, he is nowhere to be seen. <sighs> he likes to just disappear around here, doesn't he? I've noticed that. Hmm. Anyways, I hand the map to uh, Connie. I think we'll need this. Oh, crash. This is useful. Great. Yeah. It was uh, a pain in the ass to make, I'll tell you that. Uh, and that's when you notice more the very the familiar face. to you electrical scars. <laughs> you, um, you didn't happen to maybe juggle around some electricity? <laughs> um, so that's what that's called. <laughs> yeah. Um, would I know what uh, electrite is specifically? Uh, you would not. Unfortunately. Okay. Mostly because would, it's a uh, scaled throne specific element. That mm -hmm. kind of, you know, is mm -hmm. difficult to so come that, by. It's this thing I've heard rumors about. <clears throat> Something found on Javine. It's called electrite. Oh. Chock full of that thing you call electricity. Mm, must be what was in those guns that they were using. So they have... Okay, whatever. I'm oh. just saying... That right there, and he points to the map, was the biggest pain in the ass to make. Ah. Uh, Literally. So, uh, so you know that, um, you remember that, that, that painting that you swiped that, um, banjo from, uh, in the other room? Shh, shh, shh. Right, right, right. Uh, well, I, I think that guy's alive. Or something, sort of. The eye what? opens up on your hand. Yeah, I kind of hold up the eye. He's Advin. Do you let the voice in? 
Would Avin feel something try to enter? Yes. But it's asking, essentially. Well, since it asks, yes, I will give it permission. And Connie, you would hear this as well. Hello. Greetings. I am Tenekar Fellman. Would I ever know him? Uh, you would remember his name from the plaque on the uh, on the banjo and underneath the painting, mm. as well as Rachiel talking about her father. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so you're Tenekar. Yes. Who are you, if I might ask your name? A friend of your daughter's. Which one? I'm fucking uh, her daughter. <laughs> a friend. Rochiel. She <laughs> Rochiel is okay. Is she safe? She has your banjo. I saw Gimiel locked in the cage in the trophy room. It's in her possession now. That is good. She'll be able to use it. Yeah. So, how'd you end up in there? It's a long story, but to make the short of it, it was Romeo. Back. Leopold, are you in this room, by the way? I got everybody's attention, so yeah. it's up to them if they want to respond. Yeah, I don't know if Leopold's here, I suppose though. I'd be listening in on your watch if you're paying attention. I would probably, yeah, I would open up a channel and let you in. Hey, yo, Leopold. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're in the I room. I don't know if I went to the... To the little I literally just knocked... Yeah, it's mainly oh, in the that... hallways. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're in the hallways oh, right I, now. I would have assumed you guys went into one of the rooms. Oh, uh, uh, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Well, I mean, the hallway like... seems less secure than one of the rooms. Yeah, that's why I was trying to shish him. Okay. Yeah, I, just yeah, I know one like... of the rooms would be more secure than the hallway. Okay. All right, would you be in one of the rooms? That's, I was just, that, that's just what I thought. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Well, regardless, I mean, Rami Hill's probably everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But did you, uh, did you join the powwow, Leopold? Uh, yeah. Okay, you joined yeah. the powwow. Can Abbott make a quick, like, check through to see if there's any scrying spell around us or any like scrying worm uh would you like to cast detect magic yes cast actually can magic. i use my glasses for this uh the glasses are for identify only oh yeah that's right there's spell of identification so yeah detect magic right. i'll also make just a perception check around all right just kind of push up the side of my glasses and at this point i'm not disguised as a guard anymore yeah evan as you cast detect magic Ooh, nat 20 you do not see any uh, any scrying or divination spells around in the room. Everyone's watching us magically. <clears throat> All right. Um, do I see anything for the natural twenty on the perception? You do not. It seems like just the room. Uh, you don't see any cameras. You don't see any uh, any security systems that you'd be used to. All right. Well. Doesn't seem like there's anything watching us. Good. After that scrying spill, I really am a little cautious around here. Understandably so. Oh, well, I guess... While you don't feel the aura of Ramiel from it, you would actually technically see a... a divination signal from Leopold. If he was in the room. I Pretty would. Sure. Or he would. Advin would. Advin would. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Because Leopold said he was in the room, so. Yeah. That's actually what Advin would notice is like, and he have on you. And he points towards your hand. Well, actually, it's not from his hand. Oh, where the sigil is. Yeah. It's coming from his chest. What's this about? And he kind of points around the chest. Leopold, as Advin points towards your chest, you hear two voices simultaneously in your head. 
If you're there, Leopold. I, I, I don't know if you're here yet, or right now or not. I don't know. You're so quiet. Okay. I'm here. Okay, you're just so quiet. All right. Uh, but as you... Um, as Advin points towards your chest, you hear two voices simultaneously. That of Corbain and that of Arthas. Both of them say... Do not allow them to know. Would Don't I know what this crying sensor would be? Hmm? Would I know what this crying sensor would be? Oh yeah, it's Corbain and Arthas watching you. Well, Corbain and Arthas watching you separately, specifically. You'd understand that pretty well. Considering Corbain keeps pulling you and talking about your current events and shit. With there. you. Things spy Wait, on do not let them, don't let them know about the gauntlet, or don't let them know about the fact that they're tethered to me? Who knows? I'm assuming both. You know, I'm gonna make an insight check on that. Roll an insight check. I'd say roll... No, I'll let you roll one for, for each of them. Just one roll for the both of them. Um, uh, sixteen. Uh, Arthas, it seems very much that he doesn't even know that Corbain is watching you, and it's probably the gauntlet that he's talking about. Got uh, for specifically Corbain, he's definitely just talking about the fact that he's tethered to you. It'll be a lot more fun if they figure it out later. Could Advent tell if this is the work of Corbain? Rolling... At least with the magic. With how, with how... Come on, Matt 20! I got a 30. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it 20? No, not I got 20. I got a 17 plus 13. Nice. Oh my so, as you look at this, it has a very familiar structure to the magic, but half of it, like, seems unfamiliar. The other half seems very familiar. And you would recognize the hand of Corbane. I'm so sorry for whatever you went through. If you had to get this on your chest. What did he do to you? What didn't he do? I can remove it if you want. Oh, he doesn't have to watch be you. Fun. An ex-student of mine looking to remove something that I put there purposefully. This will be fun. Give it your best shot. Yeah, uh, Adam will attempt to cast Dispel Magic. On specifically the Corbane half? On the Corbane half and the Arthas half. He's just assuming the whole sigil itself is uh, part of Corbane's work. Okay. Okay. Roll a d20 for me. Just say a d20, no modifiers? Add your spellcasting modifier. Spellcasting modifier. Uh, remember, eight... you have to roll. Uh, remember, you have to take four away from it. I know, I know. Um, basic, so, yeah. 20, 19, plus 1, because I'm just subtracting 4 from my modifier, yeah. so it's plus, so. It's plus 1. Alright, so you yeah, got a dirty 20? Dirty 20, yeah. Alright. As you touch Leopold's chest, Leopold, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh. As the magic is dispelled. Uh, it's a 19 total. Okay. So you'll only take... 
don't know. <laughs> You'll only hey, take... jo join the club. <laughs> You'll only take eight points of psychic damage. I haven't taken random damage yet. Yay! <laughs> I've just had my personal space and mind space invaded multiple times. <laughs> I don't know what's worse thing. Welcome to the club, homie. <laughs> so you take eight points of psychic damage as the sigils are removed. You see Leopold just sort of tense up for a second, and then he almost, like, looks around. Everything looks much clearer to you. The world itself seems almost like a gloss filter has been lifted from it. They all just see Leopold's body just relax for a second and then he's gonna hug Advin I'm still a little sore oh, sorry oh, thanks <laughs> I'd also so like bad. to preface that Cleric is also here for this yeah 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 yeah. I kind of figured so now tell me did he say anything They didn't want you to know about the spell itself. They. About its existence. Who's they? I'm not exactly Thought sure just... what or they is anymore. You ah. said they. Who's they? They're non-binary. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> we know one, but you're referring I to another. Who? One. Sorry, Leopold, what did you say? That they, it, him, whatever creature Corbain happens to be. Corbain's a narcissistic megalomaniac. But I know for a fact that at least one half of it wasn't his work. So I'm a little curious, that's all. Uh, DM? Yes. Do I? No, Corbain? I forget. Um. Roll a history check. Okay. Advantage or no? I'll say no. I don't remember no. if I had any. But I if you roll okay, over I... 20, I'll give you a little special thing. Okay, I don't remember if I had any records of it or not. Um, let's see. Wow, that could not have been worse. Um. Okay, yeah, no. That was a nat 1 for a 10. <laughs> or not, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, like everyone, would have heard of the quote-unquote leader of the Elbrin Imperium, uh, Corbain Denerus, or Denerus Corbain is actually how it mm -hmm. would be in normal human, or normal English standards. Uh, <clears throat> I'm so confused on that. So, what? so his last name goes first. He's Corbain Denerus, but for English standards, he's uh, Denerus Corbain. So it's in like your Japanese. world. In last last name goes first. Is that what you're saying? Specifically for his, uh, him and his culture. D what's his culture? Uh, his culture is closer to that of bitch. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but anyone who uh, who would have been around, uh, who would have been around for really any point in time in the world of Aedros would have heard of Denerys Corbain. He is the leader who has led the hunt on the Elbrus continent for over 657 years. Okay. Continue as I just kind of look back and forth between the two, very confused and kind of lost in the situation. Well, now that the history lesson is out of the way, we need to discuss the plan. My watch kind of <laughs> speaks as I kind of I kind of hold it up. Did y'all forget I was here? I, I, didn't even, I didn't even know you were here, idiot. Ooh, I'm the idiot. Says the guy who got electrocuted. How how would he even know? Uh, well, because he was, was, was I was I was mentioning it. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> the anger. Um, 
Yeah, but um, there's also lots of other people down there with the El uh, with Grim that um, could use some saving. Granted, there's also uh, this guy named Lee, and he's really tall and scary, uh, and he's got <coughs> dragon armor and uh, a dragon eye, and he saw through my hologram, which is really weird. Um, Howdy, but new guys. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, that, that's okay. He's, he's also in, the in next there. Cell over. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I guess. No, he just Grimm made his way over speaker. to your cell, Grim. Okay, uh, I guess Grim has it on speaker. So, um, so, I guess we're working with that. Uh, Tomorrow is going to be hectic. Yeah. But we still have the plan, and it still hasn't gone awry yet. So far, did uh, Advin? Did you manage to get the car here? Yeah, and surprisingly, in one piece. Oh, nice. That's good. <laughs> Almost took out a few people. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, lots of <laughs> that thing's hard to operate sometimes. Um. All right. So, and is uh, Rajiel out there? She's. Hey. She's guarding it slash taking a nap inside. I both I put an alarm spell so in case anyone tried to tamper with it. All right, good, good. That's useful. Um. All right. Um. I suppose we just get everything ready for tomorrow. Um. Let's see if we can. Yeah, I'm still a bit yeah. iffy on the details, new guys. And you don't um, need, you won't need. You're just out of character. You're just trying to get us to tell you your plan, aren't you? Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Sure. Well, for the most part, all you have to really worry about is just to stay alive. That's easy <clears throat> enough. Indeed. Tomorrow. In fact, I'll tell you one aspect. There will come a p point during the fight where I will distract the beast while you let them out. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I think, but for the time being, I think we have most things underway. Um, as far as dealing with um, Dramiel, how do we plan? Hmm? I don't know. Deal with him at all, in any shape or form. I'd rather not fight that person. I'd rather just no. us get out of here. If you're well, able to well save Cleric me, has something in mind for that. If you're able to save me, I could distract him. But you, aren't you too weak? I would imagine having gone without food and being trapped in there would have left you in a more weakened state. I was too weak when I fought him last time. But if I'm able to convince my brother again, we should be able to work Your together. Brother? The Black Knight. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's that's interesting. Mm. He doesn't sound exactly like the most reasonable type. Where are you even located? Are you down below those stairs or something? Because that's the only place I wasn't at. He was I am in the arena. Which is I think he's in, in the cell below those furthest. the stairs. I I point to the where the map is and I point to the stairs that uh, to it. Oh, yes. The place where people were dying to fall in. Yeah. There's a So lot we of all know our rules there. in this plan. I suppose so. I guess. <laughs> all right. Eric. You have the most important job. He just kind of salutes with, um, with, specifically with Glenn. Good. Specifically with Glenn. Love that. All right. <clears throat> All right. So as you guys leave to your own beds, Lee kind of putting back the, the cage door again and his own cage <laughs> door again. Uh, I somehow managed to sleep on the wall. Don't ask. All right. Well, as you uh, go to your beds and prepare for tomorrow, the 
dread of tomorrow's mission hanging over your heads. We're going to end the session there. Really? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. so much for joining us. Uh, uh, episode forty-one was a lot of fun, actually. I had a, I had, it, a, I had a blast. It was. I had a blast. We got a little, yeah. I even got a little, little, a little pizzazz, a little makeover. Yeah, and then you know, Connie got, got like, shock great. It, <laughs> quite the shocking revelation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he essentially just, yeah, he. He didn't have the. He had the worst time out of all of us. Advin, yeah, or Connie. <laughs> Both of them. He just got, I'm he, scared for my life. Anyways, anyways, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, well, so much for joining us. Life. And Grim, if you would please take us out. Of course. Remember, stay happy, stay hungry, stay horny, stay uh, homogenous, and always remember the hat, the hat works, works in mysterious, in mysterious ways. ways. We love you. Good night. You're never learning my plan. We love you, everyone. Good night. <laughs>